Good morning, everybody. Another new day and we're on our way into Winnipeg. We've got a few errands to run, got to get the pickup serviced, and most importantly, Britt's got a specialist appointment today with the doctor. Actually, I have a procedure today at the hospital, but... That's what we're going to call it? <laughs> yup. Yeah, she's got a procedure today, but... I'll let her talk about it if she wants to. Other than that, we need to get into Winnipeg right now. It's a bit of a hike. We also need to swing by and pay for the service that was done to the big truck today and pick up those keys. Then we'll go pick that up later on after we're done everything on the way back. Because that's in the shop right now too. So that's in the shop, the pickup's in the shop. Britt's going to the shop. <laughs> the fertility shop. Yeah, that's yeah, a fertility appointment uh, with a specialist say that so it's it, it I would be a little nervous if it was me I have a lot of respect for you ladies you guys got to deal with a lot more things than us men do but today is pretty much just seeing making sure everything's working all right because we're trying to have a baby we're making sure that the tubes are clear ready for takeoff what she said all right we need to go though let's go Always got a ding at me. She nags you as much as your wife. Almost. <laughs> I'm not, not in the nagging mood today anyway. <laughs> okay, off to the big city. Woo. You ready? Are you ready? Big city. Never really ready for the big city, but I'd like to go see my dad. Let's go. I have got the keys to the father-in-law's truck. I had them last week. We're gonna start this thing up. Just listen, just listen. <laughs> that sounds and feels so good. I know, I get the same feeling every time I drive. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I want my truck to sound like this. And be as clean as this. That too. But I wanted to sound like this first. <laughs> and we're at Disneyland. Or Josh's version of it. I gotta spend some gift certificates I got for my birthday. Or was it for Christmas? Christmas, I think. Christmas. No, I think it was your birthday. I don't know. It's gonna be fun. Wait, entrance is on this side. Let's go park on this side. Trucker Josh in a parking lot. It's always a fun time. Well, yeah, and I got a very special truck here too, so I can't park it anywhere where it might get dinged. Everyone else thought the exact same thing. Gotta park on your own all the way in the back. I'm not bringing this thing back with a ding. So what you're saying is, if anybody hits it, we gotta run for the border. So we came out with a box of Tupperware. Actually, we got a box of clay discs and a new trigger lock. So now we just got to the hospital here. We actually just got out of the hospital at the Victoria, what's this called? Victoria General Hospital mm -hmm. here on Pembina. And Britt says that the tests went really well. I mean, I'm nauseous and I have cramps, but, yeah. <laughs> but my tubes are clear. So everything is good. So <laughs> I'm all good. She's all good, so now our specialists are moving on to whatever's next. They haven't really told us yet what's we next. We have no idea. But so far, everything seems to be okay. It's just 
taking us a while. Gotta keep trying. Yeah. So now we gotta go return the father-in-law's pickup truck, even though I we wanna. Can just drive. I wanna keep it. Listen, listen, listen. Oh no, I'm careful with it. I'm careful with it. I'll bring it back real nice so he trusts me next time. <laughs> I hope to get an exhaust like this on my truck one day. So my truck's getting a, a service right now. We gotta go pick that up and then head home. I'm pretty tired as you can tell. I didn't sleep that well last night. And this is a typical Chevy. Typical Chevy beeps all the time. Oh, it just, it hesitates before it beeps, so it takes a little while. Yeah, my truck always does that. I always turn it on, seems like everything's okay. I start vlogging and then it starts dinging at me. Same with mine, but mine's GMC, so same thing. <laughs> just wants to be a part of it, just wants to say hi. Hey, YouTube world. Anything else we need to do in town today yet? I'd rather not do much, I'm not feeling the greatest now. I'd like to go home. I was tossing and turning half the night again, and you weren't sleeping well either, you said. So, go home, get an early night, and tomorrow afternoon, we got to get going on the road, head towards Wisconsin. Good morning, everybody. We have a lot of errands to do today before we leave. I've got to head out on the truck later on this afternoon or this evening, but first we have a whole bunch of errands to do in town, and then we got to come home and do a whole bunch of things here yet, and we got to load up the truck, and then we got to go. So we got a big full day ahead of us again. It never ends. There's always way too much stuff to do. about time to get this truck washed and we figured we're waiting anyways for all these people this guy really needs a wash I'm really glad he's here <laughs> we wouldn't be able to see his brake light tonight <laughs> <laughs> but he's in line so the line goes around over there and then back into there oh the door's opening uh -huh. we have to leave this open here for people to get through so I got myself a blizzard as well oh, not I got a, a blizzard that's like a bucket of ice cream this is a blizzard. So I got my, my bucket of ice cream. Makes me feel better. And after this, we just gotta pick up the semi that was at the at the shop getting serviced. I got my door fixed as well too because the door wouldn't open from the outside anymore. It only opened from the inside. <laughs> so that's a problem. Definitely. Got that fixed and now we're gonna you know, pick that up and head home. And it'll take a while to get that thing all loaded up and ready for the trip. But I do have to get going today by around supper time, so we have about five hours or so. And while you do that, I'm gonna go water the baby trees. And then I'm gonna go study for my air brakes. Woo. So the costs of transplanting trees from our back bush out to our front yard, as some of you might have imagined. Poison ivy. I just put a band-aid over it right now just because it, it got quite a big bubble. Right there, I didn't want it to pop and get all over the inside of my sweater and stuff. I got it all the way down here. All the way up there. On your face. On my face, a little bit up here. Uh, on my chest here, right by my armpit. Uh, a little bit down my side. I'm pretty well covered. I feel for you. I've never had poison ivy. I'm pretty sure I'm immune. Because I slept beside you all night. And I gave you hugs. I don't think it transfers that easily. It has to, these bubbles have to pop. Pretty I much. Guess. For, for it to be spread, but... My arm here is not looking good. So we got some calamine lotion for it and that always works really well. I've had this many times in my life. It's just, huh. I was hoping that I was avoiding it. I didn't think we had any poison ivy in our bush because I didn't see it anywhere. But every time I think that I don't see it, it, it sees me. <laughs> sneaky like that. It's very sneaky. So, yeah, it'll be itchy for a day or two, maybe three and then it'll dry up and go away. As long as I don't scratch it and pop it and spread that uh, the pus inside it, that's what's very contagious. It'll spread then. As long as I don't itch it and I keep it covered at night so that it doesn't get rubbed on my sheets and stuff, that should be gone soon. All right, so the wife's in the pickup right there. She dropped me off here at the truck. She's gonna take the pickup home and I'm gonna get this guy ready to go or this girl I don't know if it's a guy or a girl yet I haven't really ever thought of that it's my truck it's a tool that's why I never name my truck some people name their trucks I never have to me the truck has always just been a tool it hasn't been anything more than that hope she doesn't get my truck dirty on the way home I just washed it 
just looking at the bill here. $1,300. Yep. So, uh, just for the door, the latch for the door, which was broken, was $383. The cable needed to be replaced inside the door so I could open it from the outside again. That was $111. Uh, this is all in Canadian funds, so uh, if it sounds a little higher to you Americans, just remember the exchange rate. It would be a little less than American dollars. And then my full service came out to... What was this here? $495? That's with synthetic oil. Yep. Wow. wow. Pricey, pricey, pricey. Tell you what. Trucks are expensive to fix. This was just a service and fixing a door. Can you imagine if something big went wrong? Let's knock on wood. Let's hope to God that this truck runs good for a long time yet. Should we take these with diesel? Should we take these on the truck? I think so. Alright, so I got all my stuff here now. This all has got to go to the truck. Along with this, you're going to come with me on a trip, Diesel. He's been following me around everywhere since I've been getting ready. I won't forget you, buddy. Don't worry. Yay, truck and weasel. Truck and weasel, man. Let's go to Wisconsin. Lots of cows there, man. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. I won't forget you, don't worry. Gotta get all this stuff in there first. A lot of water out here still. My dad's down further south on this road, directly south about a day and a half. That way, in front of us. <laughs> Apparently, I-29 around Council Bluffs, or south of Council Bluffs into Missouri, is closed. That's so a little, little over a day's drive from here. And it's flooded. This area always gets flooded every year, so don't let anyone tell you that that's odd, because it's normal. Every year is different. Sometimes they get a lot of water, sometimes they don't get as much. This year is one of those where they get more than, more than the average. We're coming up to the U.S. barter here, pulling lumber again. Same lumber that we picked up last week. And we're pulling it down to, or earlier this week, pardon me, pulling it down to uh, Appleton, Wisconsin. I'm going to get far enough today that I can get to Appleton tomorrow night and then we'll deliver it the next day, which is Monday in the morning. So all i got to do is get about another couple of hours down the road. I mean, Grand Forks would be okay, but I'm going to try to get down to Fargo, North Dakota. Then I know for sure I can make it in one day from there. Well, we got over the border here. We're in Pembina, North Dakota. I just put calamine lotion all over my poison ivy. Oh, that is itchy. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Actually, you know what? I should have a little bit of a little paper towel here just to dab it. Ugh. Keep that from spreading. Just crazy. I got some here too and down my side. I think there's some on my leg. I don't know who Ivy is, but she's poison. I actually know a Ivy. She's a lovely lady. She's not poison at all. I don't know why they would name such a terrible plant Ivy. Okay, one more minute here and I made my half hour break. And we're gonna putz our way down to Fargo, I think. Mm. See how we feel when we get to Grand Forks. We're 1,073 kilometers from our destination where we gotta be uh, Monday morning. So I don't have to make it all the way there. I could get as close as I could, do the rest Monday morning, but like I said, we'll see how we feel. I'll drive till I get tired. And here we are. Park beside a reefer. A reefer that is running. Hey, he's got a Bible verse on his truck there. Driving for the harvest, Matthew 9, verse 37 to 38. Oh, he's from Cleefeld, Manitoba. Oh, he's from Deetsies. He's from this. Oh, okay. He's from my area, my neck of the woods. Out in my region there, around Steinbeck. Cool. 
Well, I don't like them. I trust them. Diesel. How you doing, buddy? We're in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Grand Forks. We usually don't stop here. We usually go down to Fargo. Like I said before, I was hoping to get down that far, but I'm tired. Nine and a half hours or so, or 10 hours of driving tomorrow, and we'll be at our destination. <sighs> Time to go to sleep. It's been a long couple of days. Got a lot done. Got poison ivy to deal with. Look at that. It's pussing again. Ugh, I can't touch that to anything because that is contagious. So I better tend to that. I'll put a band-aid over it for night just to make sure it doesn't leak on like my bedding and stuff. But Poison ivy is not fun. How many of you have had poison ivy? I put calamine lotion on here now. That's all that white stuff. Works really good. It's the best thing that I've been that I've found to deal with poison ivy. It takes the itch away, it dries it out, and uh, you know, a couple of days and it's gone. It's just, it leaves these big white patches. Once it dries on your skin, you gotta wash it off with soap, but it is what it is and it works. Calamine lotion, I got mine at Shoppers Drug Mart. That's a Canadian company, so I'm sure you could find it at like Rex Hall, or what do you guys have in the States? Uh, any drugstore, really. Have a good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow for a full day of trucking. We're on our way to Wisconsin. It's going to be fun. Diesel, we're going to see some cows tomorrow. You excited? You don't get as excited as you used to about cows. Do you not like cows anymore? Have you graduated onto horses? Other dogs, maybe? Dogs? You like dogs? I bet you they got dogs in Wisconsin. <laughs> You'll have to tune in tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. To my channel. A lot of you aren't subscribed. Maybe you just found my video and you're watching for the first time. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It does a lot more for me than you think. We're trying to get to 100,000 and you can be a part of that if you want to. See you later.